Imagine being able to see and differentiate every single cell in the human body. Imagine a device that is so precise that it can destroy the bad and leave the good on a microscopic level. Imagine being able to do complex surgeries but only making one or two small incisions. Nanotechnology in healthcare leads to a better world due to its amazing innovations in diagnosing slash treatments, cancer therapies, and surgery. The first standout achievement in nanotechnology is its ability to easily diagnose and treat many different illnesses. According to the International Bar Association, nanomaterials makes it possible to improve diagnosis by identifying targets at the nanoscale that were previously unreachable and to improve treatment by increasing the effectiveness of therapeutic agents by enclosing them in nano objects. Theoretically, this means that we could possibly detect an infection not when symptoms start to show, but when the very first cell is invaded. We could enclose the antibiotics so that the infection-fighting medicine gets released and activated directly at the center of the problem for maximum effectiveness. Infections are just one example of an illness nanotechnology can help. Our UC Riverside determined the key advantage of the nanotech route are scale, flexibility, and precision, all of which add up to better diagnoses and treatments. A nanotech device that is so small that no dangerous virus, bacteria, or germ can hide, including cancerous cells, can ensure a healthy body. Which leads me to my next benefit of nanotechnology in healthcare. Nanotechnology can give us a great success, great and successful advantage in the fight against cancer. The National Cancer Institute proclaims nanotechnology offers the means to target therapies directly and selectively to cancerous cells and neoplasms, guide surgical resection of tumors, and enhance the therapeutic efficiency of radiation-based treatments. Nanotech devices can, can have the ability to detect through monitoring the exact moment a tumor becomes malignant and proceed to help surgeons destroy the cancerous tissue with precision, leaving the healthy cells unaffected. When it comes to radiation treatments, the National Library of Medicine illustrates these medical tools allow for the self-assembly of nanostructures and molecules that ultimately enhance drug targeting and reduce the toxic toxicity associated with these drugs. Directed radiation to cancerous tissue with nanotechnology can relieve the stress radiation has on the body and standard chemotherapy. The final healthcare sector nanotechnology innovated is surgery. The European Journal of Medical Research pointed out that humans cannot do precision surgery within cells because their scapules are millions of times more significant than the single cell. However, a surgeon operating a nanobot under computer control could. Surgeries with implants such as hip or knee replacement could have a false bone that is better accepted and better fitted to their body with nanotechnology, all of which can be done through minimum invasion and remotely due to the surgeon's ability to control the nanotechnology through a computer. Biomedical and Pharmacology Journal reported Nanotech devices have improved imaging technology and drug delivery systems and scaffold fabrication with improved material cell interaction that are useful in surgical practice of wound healing, which means the recovery period after surgery is greatly reduced, with nanotechnology overall leading to more effective and safer surgeries. In conclusion, nanotechnology in healthcare betters the world by creating more efficient diagnoses slash treatments making strides in, help, in the helping to fight cancer and increasing the effectiveness of surgeries. A microscopic device that can better the lives of billions of people through healthcare seems like something that only exists in movies, but thanks to modern technology, the fantasy of nanotechnology has become our reality. Thank you.